Hi, my name is Mass, and let's talk about AUX environments or reverb zones. An AUX environment is a zone you define in the game where you want to apply a certain effect from an auxiliary bus on all sounds within that region. So let's go through everything you need in order to set up such a region. For this exercise, we're going to use the WISE Adventure game, and we're going to use a scene from the WISE 301 certification. So go to Audio Kinetic, go to Certification, go to 301, go to Lesson 6, and then go to Creating an AUX Environment. So go to the Hierarchy and expand the AUX Environments. So in the AUX Environments, we removed one of the zones. And as you might notice, that would be the Woodlands. So what you'll be asked to do is that you will make a AUX Environment and assign the Woodlands to it. So when the player enters the Woodlands region, swords and the footsteps and so on, will be sent to the auxiliary bus called Woodlands. And those sounds will then receive the wise room verb effect. So let's take a look at one of the other auxiliary setups. So what you need is basically three components. You need the AK environment, where you define what auxiliary bus you're using. You need a collider set to trigger that defines the region in which this aux environment is gonna apply. And lastly, you also need the rigid body so that it detects whenever two triggers are intersecting. So let's do this for the woodlands region. So first off, let's make a box collider and shape it to the woodlands. So right click in the hierarchy, go to 3D object, go to cube, and then shape that cube to the woodlands. Once you've done that, make sure the is trigger is enabled so that the player is able to go inside this collider. And for this example, let's add a transparent material. So in the project view, Search for trigger red and then drop that onto the region itself. And for convenience, let's rename it Woodlands and put it inside the AUX environments. So because you have the collider, you find where that region is going to be. So let's start by assigning the AUX bus that we need for this region. So go to add component, search for AK environment and select it. In this AK environment, you have a few properties. You have the priority which is used in relation to other AK environments. A smaller number has a higher priority, so zero is the highest priority. There's the default option that means that whenever no other AK environment is affecting the sounds inside this region, this one will be applied. And there's the exclude others, which is whenever you have several AUX environments intersecting, then you can choose that whenever you're inside this one, you're gonna exclude all others, which is for example used with the Woodlands hut, where once you are inside that hut, the Woodlands AUX bus is not supposed to affect the sounds within the Woodlands hut. And lastly, you can assign the AUX bus. So select the AUX bus name, go to Auxiliary Buses, Default, Work Unit, Master Audio Bus, World AUX, and then Region Woodlands and Woodlands. What you might have noticed is that there's a warning in the AK environment. And that's because in order to define something with a collider, you need to use a rigid body in order to keep track of the intersections. So let's add a rigid body, but instead of adding the component, you can simply click add rigid body and all these steps will be done for you. And you'll see a rigid body below the AK environment. So that's basically it for the AUX environment. Next, you need to make sure that the AK game object is applied to the sounds that need this effect. But instead of adding the AK game objects to the AUX environments, you need to add it to the game objects with the sounds posted on them. So for example, let's take the player. Once a sound is posted on the player, this game object needs to know whether a game syncs have been set on that game object, like for example, a switch, but also something like, what aux environment is this game object inside? If you look in the inspector, you might notice that the player does not have an AK game object on it. So let's add the AK game object. So go to add component and search for AK game object and make sure that the environment aware option is selected. So that's it, you can now take the player inside the AUX environment. So press play. So run into the center of the woodlands and attack a few things. Let's take a look in the profiler. In the voice graph, set the filter to the player's work unit and let's take the performance monitor time cursor a bit back and look at the player weapon spring. You'll notice that all the player sounds are now routed through the woodlands AUX bus. One thing you should pay attention to is that all sounds you need to affect with an AUX bus effect, you need to set it to use game defined auxiliary sense. In the Wise Adventure game, we simply set the world actor mixer to use game defined auxiliary sense so that all the sounds in the world would receive that effect. If you want to learn more about how to use Wise in Unity, check out the Wise 301 certification.